How's everybody doing? Scott X1307 uh, back again. Got the uh, latest flea market haul and then a small order from a couple weeks ago from Midtown, Midtown Comics. Uh, uh, do their economy shipping and uh, it takes uh, sometimes it takes a little bit, but uh, it arrived this weekend. I uh, ordered me and my girlfriend kind of split, and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty cool stuff, all, you know, pretty current stuff. And, uh, flea market this weekend was rather slow. Um, most of the uh, new stuff he had were uh, newer issues and a lot of 90s stuff. I didn't pick up a whole lot. Um, I did find some good stuff. Uh, price books, unfortunately. Uh, some people were there at like 7 in the morning uh, when he first shows up and raided that. But I did pick up one really awesome issue uh, and a couple of uh, pretty good things. But, um, another weird week I only picked up uh, two indie books and then the bulk of my stuff was uh, Marvel and then uh, DC um, two indie titles I got uh, Nexus uh, number 31 and Nexus number 29 so uh, can cross those off my list Getting closer and closer to uh, finishing that, thanks to uh, that really sweet trade with Tom Ryan. He got all those Nexus books for me. But that's that's all the indie titles I got this week, really. <laughs> um, not getting a whole lot of a lot of indie stuff in the past few weeks. Um, now from uh, DC, I did pick up some pretty cool stuff, uh, some issues uh, tie into uh, Blackest Night. I uh, picked up uh, Blackest Night JSA number one of three, uh, and number two of three. Um, all these are these were all in quarter books. Uh, Booster Gold number twenty six. Can't really stand the character, but uh, it's Blackest Night tie-in. And uh, Tales of the Core, number two of three, Blackest Night tie-in. So that was pretty cool. And that's uh, it's really all the DC issues I got. I did pick up uh, this DC and Marvel All Access, number four. Um, so I think I have... Look at that run. I think that's the final issue in that. I could be wrong. It may have went six issues. But I think I have the first four of that now. And uh, it's the first time I've seen this. It's got this bend at the bottom. But uh, it's in the quarter books. It's one of the amalgam issues. Thorian of the new Asgods. Um, oh, looks pretty neat. Thor and Orion kind of cross together. to uh, Marvel Books. Marvel Books, I picked up a good many. Uh, found some more uh, World War Hulk tie-ins. A couple of issues of uh, Gamma Core. Uh, issue number one. And issue number two. Pretty cool. Uh, everybody's uh, on this big uh, hype about Sleepwalker. I have an issue number one I picked up a while back. Um, there was at least one more issue at the flea market. I haven't been able to find it. But uh, I picked up issue number two. Eh, what the hell. Um, uh, some more 90s goodness. I got uh, New Warriors issue number one. Uh, issue number two. And issue number three. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, new New Warriors were uh, pretty cool uh, for a while there. Uh, 
Um, and the last uh, couple of Marvel books here in the quarter books. Saw this. Looks pretty funny. Um, it's Fred Hembeck sells the Marvel Universe. So, uh, this came out, I guess, long before uh, Punisher or Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a good, funny read. Picked up Earth X number one for uh, 20 cents. Uh, it's a neat little mini series. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Marvel's version of Kingdom Come, sort of. Not exactly. Um, and I picked up uh, Uncanny X Men 322. I believe this is considered like one of the first appearances of Onslaught. And uh, I picked this up. I saw this in someone's video. Uh, X Man number 28. <clears throat> um, it's a video I watched till a month or so ago. I forget whose video. And I forget the significance or if there's any significance at all. Um, but uh, the X Man series was kind of neat. It was a little different. Uh, it's kind of neat to see. You know what cable might have been like you know without being infected by the techno organic virus so I have some uh, some other issues of X-Men I'll figure what the hell 20 cents All right. <clears throat> now some price books um, well before that I have three other uh, there's some magazines uh, he had there for a quarter a piece. I picked these up. Um, this first one here I thought was uh, pretty cool. It is uh, Fantastic Films from May 1980. Uh, it's got some stuff about Saturn 3, a uh, movie had Kirk Douglas and Farrah Fawcett, Harvey Keitel, um, The Fog by John Carpenter. Um, and this is the main reason I picked it up. See if I can find that really quick. Oh, what was it? Forty-eight. What was Page forty-eight. Uh, some cool Jack Kirby art. It's actually um, <laughs> this is his design for. A big uh, sci-fi themed amusement park called uh, Science Fiction Land, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, there's a little article here. It's a couple pages. Uh, here is uh, Terminal of the Gods helicopter port. So it's uh, it's Kirby's designs of uh, Roger. Zelazny. Um, that was pretty cool. So, grab that. And I picked up this issue of something called Fantasy Empire. Uh, it says uh, a bunch of stuff about Doctor Who. Uh, my favorite Doctor, Tom Baker. I think this is discussing, uh, there's an article discussing his. Um, when he changes to to the next doctor and then uh oh this it's called shriek this issue one from fantico uh looked pretty cool I like this cover and the back cover here it ends up being this back cover is actually drawn by clive barker uh, best known for his uh, uh writing skills and uh, so is this inside cover. It's Clyde Barker. Reminds me of something from a book he did called Thief of Always. It's good black and white, kind of indie horror stuff. But uh, you see here it's edited. Steve Bissett. It's got uh, this inside page is uh, Bissett's art. 
uh, inks by Eric Talbot and this story here called End of the Line uh, which is pencils by Kevin Eastman inks by uh, Talbot thought that was pretty cool and then it's got some really neat uh, sci-fi fantasy stuff as well along with some horror stuff looked pretty cool that kind of remind me of a nightmare before Christmas <laughs> alright now it's uh, price books I picked up only got a few they were all like two dollar one dollar books uh, except for the final issue but uh, found some Marvel zombie stuff uh, this is evil evolution one shot um, it's two bucks look pretty cool uh, you also had Marvel Zombies 5, issue number 2. Uh, a couple of X-Men issues. Uh, number 243, part of the Inferno storyline. And X-Men 280. And then I'm surprised to find these, especially for couple of dollars a piece um, Wolverine from the ongoing series issue number three and number four both in uh, really good shape uh, nothing major on with them pages a little off-white no really bad creases the corners aren't uh, super sharp but they're not uh, crease or anything just a little soft a little blunted a couple of small spine ticks things like that but uh, they're good, very, very fine shape. But uh, last book, this was the book I was most excited to find. Uh, it was one of the first books I come across. Uh, he only had one short box of uh, new books in the, the price stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's in pretty decent shape. A little off-white, but uh, no major creasing. Anything like that. Um, it's really good shape except for a little off color. But uh, it's Forever People. <clears throat> issue number 9. Uh, this is another one featuring Dead Man. Um, Jack Kirby. Fourth World. DC stuff. Loving it. <clears throat> uh, picking those up every time I find them. I was glad that was still there. Right, so uh, that's uh, that's all the stuff I picked up at the flea market this week. I uh, did not go to Second Charles or anything like that. Just went to the flea market, uh, and that was all about fifteen bucks. Um, there was something neat he d he had. He had a couple of boxes of these uh, things. Somebody grabbed a whole box of them. I didn't know he was giving them away for free. Um, apparently, the guy that uh, one of his suppliers for books he comes across uh, other things. He's had uh, some drawer boxes in there. for They were like $3 a piece. Uh, I picked up a couple of those before. He Right now he's got some of those uh, plastic uh, long boxes. Um, they're cool. I just, uh, I don't, they're, I don't know. They're a little heavier than the cardboard. Um, but anyway, he had these things. I don't know if you remember these. I hadn't seen these in a while. It's a comic shell. Uh, plastic folds up, snaps together. Uh, put a comic inside, kind of like this. Uh, figured I would put a couple of these in here uh, until I can find some comic frames, which for some reason can only get online. No place around me has them. But uh, they have these little things. I figured I could hang them up on the wall when I get a place, uh, a spot to hang. But uh, fits the comic in there pretty nice. Unfortunately, uh, not bagged or anything. But these are fairly stiff. So they're not going to bend too easy. Um, but they're pretty neat. Um, I grabbed about 10 of them. Like I said, uh, he had about half a box left. And uh, he was just giving them away for free so uh, I'm a sucker for free stuff so that was pretty cool yeah. alright uh, this is a book set I ordered from Midtown 
Uh, I have these two issues that I have the regular cover, but I really wanted to get these variants. Uh, it's one of the, it's probably the only series I really give a shit about getting variants on. Uh, Afterlife with Archie, uh, number six with the really cool Sabrina uh, variant by uh, Andrew Pepoy. And issue number seven. Maybe I'm just a pervert. I don't know. <laughs> Um, also, I picked up some Star Wars number one issues. Uh, I only picked them up because they had them 15% uh, off cover price, and then I had a 25% off code I'd been holding on to for a minute. Uh, so I went ahead and used it. Uh, gave me 25% off my total. So I got these all below cover price, and I've noticed on eBay most of them are going between five and ten bucks. Um, that's probably not going to last very long, though. But uh, I just picked up a couple of these that I liked, um, the ones that they had below cover price. So it's uh, the Luke Skywalker action figure variant, um, the movie variant. Luke Skywalker. Um, I like this. This was funny. Uh, I, I have to admit I did not read the old Star Wars comics. Um, I don't know the character's name. I heard it a while back, but I just thought that was funny. Um, I also like the Scotty Young variant. Um, his covers are always pretty cool. And uh, the one that I liked the most, I think, uh, out of what they had uh, available um, that I was willing to pay for. Uh, they had a lot of the covers. They were already $1, 8 9 $10 for. Um, but this one was still a little, a little undercover price. Um, this is uh, Han and Leia. Oops. And it's... Uh, That's really cool. Issue is, uh, well, most people have read it. It's not bad. But uh, I like that cover. So, pick that up. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not going after any other Star Wars uh, number ones. Uh, I did manage to pick up three more back issues of a really cool series. Um, sheltered uh, I was missing issue number three they finally had one in stock um, issue number four and issue number five so now I have uh, the first uh, first nine issues I believe so uh, I'm close to being caught up with that that was very cool. I'm glad they finally had those. And they had those 15% uh, off cover price. So, um, really cool. So, that was it. Um, yeah, I probably bought too many Star Wars number ones. Um, but, what the hell. So, that's it. That's it. My uh, flea market haul and a little bit of stuff from Midtown. Um, thought it was pretty cool. Not the best day, but... Uh, yeah, it was really cool to find the Forever People uh, there. Um, been finding a good bit of those, uh, the the Fourth World uh, Kirby stuff from DC. Um, the only two books I really haven't found a lot of are Sandman and The Demon. Um, I've actually very close to completing uh, Miracle Man. Uh, Mr. Miracle, excuse me. Um, so, anyway, I'll quit rambling. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, leave me a comment below if you, uh, if you feel like it. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Or not. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, you guys, uh, have a good one. Uh, happy comic hunting. And, uh, appreciate it. Till next time. Keep reading those books. Later.